What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Jagging Off, the goat of Jag's YouTube. Welcome to the shit list, where if you fuck up, you get aired out. You understand me? Today's recipient, my dishonorable mention, is this fucking one-year wonder, waste of space, waste of time, waste of energy, waste of money, Chris Conley. Now, this, now, this very easily could have been Mike Glenn. Lennon, but you know, I really looked in, really looked into it and thought about it. You know, he's only been in one other game, the Cleveland game, which he had a good game at. He re that first interception he threw wasn't his fault. It was that random whoever he threw to who shouldn't have even been on the fucking field to begin with. And then um, the only dumb shit he really did was fu was fumbling that stupid ass interception where he overthrew DJ Chark. So I'm gonna give Mike Glennon a pass in hopes that you know he can rectify himself against Trashville next week. But Chris Conley, the main reason he's on this list, list, the reason he gets to be the inaugural episode of this is because, see, one thing I hate is when I talk up certain players, like like with him, I said, you know, he's, a, he's the best free agency signing we had last year, which technically he still was because the only other notable one was Nick Foles. And Ever since he signed up the contract, he either been hurt or stinking up the joint either here or Chicago. So, you, you know, take your pick of which one it is. And Chris Conley had a and Chris Conley had a decent year last year. And I talked him up. I said, you know what? With a young core of receivers, Chris Conley's a good guy to ha have in the locker room. He's been there, done it. He had a good year last year. He's probably a good person to have around. And that, but ever since the Atlanta game last year, he's been fucking trash I can't stand watch him first of all not only are you let DJ letting DJ Chark take time from you but you're letting LaVisca Chenault Colin Johnson two rookies and then and then Keelan Cole who you were who you were two spots ahead of on the depth chart last year like what the fuck happened like is your old lady not giving you pussy at home Chris is she threatening to divorce you I mean what is it what the hell happened? I need to know. I really need to fucking know. Because you would think in a contract year that um this du that this dude would be balling right now. The but the only person that got that memo this year was Keelan Cole. I can't even say nothing bad with Dee Westbrook because he's barely gotten on the field and you know he had a torn ACL. All all prayers to him. Get well, Dee Dee. But with Chris Conley, all of a sudden, any time all of a sudden now. You can't get open. You can't catch. You can't run your routes correctly. You can't block. You can't even hold on to the fucking ball when they throw it to you. That fumble last week, last week in a Vikings game in a crucial part was stupid because it was right after, because it was not too foot long after Joe Schobert got that pick six. And really, we had the Vikings. We had them fucking beat. We had momentum on our side in their stadium. And then that fumble shifted the whole game. How the one time we throw to you, you fumble the goddamn ball. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. And I'm I'm disappointed because, you know, before this, I liked Chris Conley. I wanted him to do good. I wanted him to do good. I wanted him to earn another contract to be around for these young boys, young boys like DJ Chark, Keelan, or not Keelan Cole, LaVisca Chanel and uh, Colin Johnson. I wanted him around for them. But now I don't know if you're teaching them to not hold on to the fucking ball and run the routes correctly. <sighs> Bullshit, bro. Like, like I said, I, I was hoping he'd get another contract, but man, I, I can't wait till this motherfucker's gone. Like, he need to go. Like, no wonder you ain't been shit any other year besides th this year. Like, or besides last year, I'm sorry. Because you definitely ain't shit this year. But... I mean, God fucking damn, bro. Like, that that fumble was atrocious. Like, I, I like the one time I threw shit, like, there were two times during that game I, like, threw, sh threw like, a beer can or some shit at my TV. It was the, it was Glennon's pick, pick at the end, and then that. Like, this is, like, this is, like, stupid shit like this is the reason why we won one game this whole fucking year. Because we're in games, we have a chance to do, we have a chance to do shit, and then, Dumb shit happens when we should be putting opponents away. Like, our record could very easily be different if not for stupid shit. So, because you did stupid shit, Chris Conley, 
you end up on the shit list this week. So, anyway, that's it, that's all. Go Jags, Duval till I die, and I'm go. Fuck.